Greetings and uh, welcome to another video. So today I want to give you guys a bit of a gameplay video, more so to help you guys hopefully improve, but more so find a playstyle that is meta but is also not super defensive. Giving you guys an option to still win games because to win games you have to succumb to the meta in this game quite a bit, but without being a drop back merchant because I feel like there's a little too much out there saying that you need to play Overload ball side, you need to play drop back. But first things first, to address the elephant in the room, this abomination of a jersey I was coerced into wearing does not represent me as an individual. If you head over to my Twitch, cheeky little plug, you'll notice that if you rack up enough channel points, you can force me to wear any kit you like if you choose to redeem your points that way and you know, my viewers know I'm a Roma fan, so you can guess what happened next. Nonetheless, going straight into the tactics and formation used. Despite some of you loving my 4-3-3 guys, we went with a boring, still repetitive and meta 4-4-2 lineup this weekend. It, it is what it is, man. But addressing the second elephant in the room, yes, my team is great, but I will not apologize for it because I didn't pay for it. I worked, I sweat. I sacrificed blood, sweat, and tears for it. I got multiple Elite 1s this year without this team. And even just finishing Elite 3 or hell, even gold finishes will make a massive impact on your team during Team of the Season so far. That being said, nothing revolutionary. You want at least a 5-star weak foot up top, fast wingers, one good defensive center mid in Allen in this case, and a good box-to-box. -box. Modric is perfect for this. For instructions, I use the good old stay back on the fullbacks. Nothing happens on both the keepers and center backs. Both wingers are on stay wide, although that is optional. Check it out for yourself and obviously get in behind. Now, I did try also to not have get in behind and have get into the box for crosses instead. So if you don't have get in behind, definitely try putting getting in the box for crosses as opposed to that. Now, both CMs will be on cover center, except you leave the defensive one, in this case, Allen on stay back while attacking, and the box to box on balanced. Finally, up top, you can get away with a lot. I went with false nine on my Neymar and getting behind on Benzema. However, this is completely up to you and really depends how you play. For tactics, we've got balanced mentalities. Shout out to my manual defenders out there. For width, defensively combined with eight depth. If you've seen my passing videos, you'll know that it doesn't really matter if you cut a passing lane sometimes. The game can and will rig you. So my mentality is, screw it. Let's let it fly. Let's get in his face. Offensively, we went again with a balanced mentality. Four width to match the defensive one. I don't know. I just kind of feel weird about that. So I kind of match it all the time. And then we left everything else as you see on the screen. All right, and now let me leave you guys with some clips of some of the goals that I scored. And there's one goal in particular there, which I'm really, really proud of. So enjoy the clips and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tactics. Let me know what you feel of them. Does it allow you to score and being a little bit more offensive? Let me know and enjoy the clips. Peace. Go in. Bang, 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 bang. Thank you. God. And it's Big Daddy Benz. We call him father. We call him poppy. That's why he's here. What more do you want? Bang it, bang it, bang it. Your daddy, your daddy bends. You bang it. You f bang it. That's just disgusting. That is actually disgusting.
<laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of any time. Fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we leave it. What a way to end it with that very, very, very weird penalty call where my opponent just runs into my eye anyways hope you guys enjoyed the tactics some of the clips uh those are coming from my stream so if you want you can check me out on stream if not that's cool and until next time peace out